Hey, how's it going everybody? Jared for the Smoking Android here. I wanted to do another video on how to root your Samsung Galaxy S3 i9300 because, you know, the first video I did, I didn't do a whole lot of poking around on different root methods for the device. And as of probably the past couple of weeks, I found another version or method that's actually been out since, wow, the 6th of June, the 6th of June. And I know that there's still a lot of people out there that are buying Samsung Galaxy S3s and wanting to root their devices. And obviously you want the easiest method possible. And the previous video I had on how to root your Galaxy S3 i9300 wasn't the easiest method possible, albeit it was very, very easy. But I wanted to show you an even easier method. So here we are at XD Developers website, like usual, and we're looking at the CF Root 6.4 from Chainfire. Chainfire is an extremely well-known, recognized developer um, at XDA Forum, so you know you can trust him, you can trust his methods. Now with that said, um, the page that I'm going to be linking in the description below has a ton of information. So if you are new to rooting, this is really, really great for you to read this stuff. Uh, it explains to you what the kernels are, what super user is, what root is, a bunch of good stuff, as well as clockwork uh, mod recovery, and a couple other things as well, busy box, blah, 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 and a bunch of other really, really useful and helpful applications that he explains to you how it can, how those applications can be used with this method and so on. But for simplicity, we're going to go ahead and just scroll all the way to the bottom to locate the actual file that you're going to be wanting to download itself. Now, again, I strongly recommend you read this thread. There's about three or four long posts from him with some really useful information. I'm not just saying like useful as in, you know, oh yeah, there's a bunch of stuff in there you probably don't need to read. You really need to read this, especially for those of you that are rooting for the first time. For those of you that aren't rooting your S3 for the first time, i9300 more specifically, um, you could probably skip through this. And which brings me to my next sort of statement. Do not ask me in the comments below if this will work for your i747, your Sprint, Verizon, or any other model. This is for the i9300 international version, i9300 only. If you try this on any other devices, you can and most likely will brick your device, okay? So now that that's out of the way, let's get started. So, um, CF root for your Samsung Galaxy S3 i9300 version 6.4. You see, you'll scroll down until you find this post. I think this is the third one down. And you'll notice here that we've got a download link. So you're gonna go ahead and download that. Now what that'll give you is, if I can just bring it up here, what that'll give you is one of these files. More specifically, I believe this one here with a smaller uh, size. Once you get that, you're going to extract it once, okay? With using WinRAR, whatever you use to extract files, you'll extract it once. If you extract it twice, you're going to end up with files that you don't want. And he actually, uh, Chainfire actually explains that in the thread itself. But you're going to want to extract it. Once you extract it, you'll end up with another file that looks identical. But obviously, paying attention to the file sizes, you'll know which one is the newest one. Now that you have that downloaded, what you're going to do is um, open up and install Odin. Now, I will link to you guys down below um, the Odin pack. Odin is the sort of development tool that Samsung uses to flash firmwares on and, and other things onto their devices. Um, however, the community such as myself and others like you if you're watching this video are obviously capable of using it and it's very very easy to use so like I said I'll be linking that in the description below as well the latest version very easy to set up and use so let's go ahead and open up Odin shall we all right so now we've got our Odin 3 open it's actually version 3.04 so what you're going to do here is you grab your device okay and hopefully it's not too much out of focus here what you're going to do is power it down so, powering down, all right. And we'll just give that just a second. It takes, obviously, it's a Galaxy S3. It's super fast, so it turns off super fast also. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is press and hold volume, uh, shoot, what was it? Volume down, the home button, and the power button all at once. So we'll do that right here on camera for you guys. If I can just get in front of it here for you. So, volume down, power, and of course there's no light, sorry about that. Maybe this is a little bit easier for you guys. There you go. Power button, volume down, and the home button all at once, right? And you'll come to this screen here. And you'll notice that it says 
uh, volume up to continue, volume down to cancel and restart your phone. Okay, you're going to want to press obviously volume up. So I'll go ahead and press that here. And we are now in download mode. Now we're ready to connect this to our computer. So as you can see here, we're just plugging it in as normal. All right. And we'll just wait for our computer to recognize it, which it has already done, and it should do it fairly quickly. Um, by the way, another thing I wanted to mention before we continue on is that um, you're probably going to want to download um, the drivers, the Samsung drivers, whether that means plugging it into your computer and letting your computer download it automatically, or download the Kias or Kias or whatever you want to call it, the Kias application or software program from Samsung, which you can find on their website. It's not hard to find. Just Google it and you guys will be able to find it very quickly. And that will also install um, all the needed drivers that uh, that your computer may need. And so some of you, you may not need to. You may just need to plug in your phone to your PC and it'll just, you know, just like the snap, uh, it'll it'll download all those drivers for you. Um, so anyways, okay. So we've, uh, the program has now recognized our phone, right? So you'll see everything is good to go. Um, down here, you'll notice that it says added, which means that a device has been added. All right. So you want to also make sure that things like repartition are not checked. The only things that should be checked is auto reboot and F reset time. So what we'll do here is go ahead down to PDA and we will, and that's not the one we're looking for. So we're going to go ahead and look for... Um, this one right here, right? This is the uh, extracted file, right? It's not showing the zipped file. This is now showing the extracted file. This is all you need to see. So what we do from here is we just go ahead and click open and then click start. And as it does its thing, it'll start to flash its own recovery, which is the clockwork mod recovery, the custom recovery for flashing scripts, ROMs, things like that, as well as the super user application, which gives your phone access, or at least different applications and different services access to the root of your device, which is needed for a lot of different things, such as titanium backup. Whereas if you're a new root user, you're going to find out pretty darn quick what titanium backup is used for and why it's one of the most used and helpful applications for a root user, period. So that was it. Our phone's now rooted. We're done. As you can see there, while we were talking, before I was even finished talking, um, we've got a pass and the phone's rooted. At this point, what you can actually do is unplug your device from your PC. And we're going to go ahead and um, I'm going to show you guys that it is rooted. So I'll go into the Play Store and I'm just going to set this up really quickly off camera here. Um, we'll just type it in real quickly. So we've navigated uh, to the Play Store and um, I've gone into, wow, it's, I, I'm just going to bring it in a little bit quick, closer for you guys here, a little bit of a tighter shot here. All right. So I went to the Play Store. Um, I typed in Root Checker. We'll go ahead and click on that little application. You can download a check on the status of Root if, if your device has been, in fact, rooted. That'll download really, really quickly. Um, this is the one that I do recommend, Joey Crim. Go ahead and open that up. Just click Agree. And all you got to do now is just click Verify Root Access. It'll take two seconds. If you do have root access, you'll see this actually pop up, which is a good sign. And as you can see, boom, congratulations, this device has root access. And that's it, folks. That is all it took. The actual rooting process itself took about three seconds. So let's say, for instance, you want to flash back to the stock, actual stock firmware without root for whatever reason, and you just want to give it root back again, which I actually do myself quite often when I'm doing videos. Um, this is a really, 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 really simple and quick method on how to root your Samsung Galaxy S3 i9300. Well, that's it for now, folks. Thank you very much for watching. If you found this video helpful, show me some love by hitting that likes button down below. And you might want to subscribe for more videos like this in the future. ROM reviews, device reviews, app reviews, hacks, scripts, all kinds of great stuff. Um, but that's it for now. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.